Yeah, what's up YouTube, back again with another quick video for you today. It's about some software we've been using recently. And um, yeah, just so you can see what it can do. And let's see if it's any good for you. Right, okay, so it's called... It's called um, Image Motion. And it's a program, should we say, for doing parallax with um, obviously 2D images give them a bit of motion, etc, etc. So we'll go through quite how easy it is to use and you'll see the effect you can get. You can animate just certain parts of an image, but on this one we're just going to do, you know, we're going to cut out the the bride here and uh, give her some motion and the background will move as well. You, you, you get the idea anyway. So yeah, okay, so it's as simple as three clicks basically. We'll just check the image is configured properly using this icon here and then we're going to go down to this part of the software plugin and we'll click on the first one and it will tell you to select a brush and draw over the object you want to animate so quite simple and explanatory so we're going to pick a brush okay we'll get that one on there and right so I'm not going to do this absolutely perfect because it, this is just to give you an idea of what it can do so what we're going to do is we want to cut all this bride out so we're going to paint her in black and this bit is going to be a little bit boring so what we'll do is I will yeah it's going to take me a while so I'm going to just make a bigger brush and speed I'll speed the video up and I'll be back in a tick. We're just finishing off this last bit now and like I said I'm just doing this rather quickly and if you take your time you're gonna get a better result of course but you're just gonna get the idea of what the software can do and like I said it will do you can animate indi individual parts of the picture if you want to but I'm just giving you a quick demonstration of what it can do okay so there we go. Missed a few little bits there. I'm not going to quit. I'm not going to zoom in anymore. Like I said, it's just quickly. But you've got to make sure as well when you uh, when you're painting everything out, you, there's no gaps that you can see underneath. Otherwise, it won't render. It won't render that out, and you could be left with just some bits of a dress or whatever not moving and it does look a bit stupid right so there we go we've got our all, all blacked out masked out as we should say really and then we're going to hit the play button which is that one here so we'll click on that it'll do its magic it takes a couple of minutes or seconds should i say see the progress bra as we do this to one side and then we're going to get the animation in this area down here once it's done there we go so if we click on the play we'll see the animation as it's done so far click on play you'll see she'll move just a little bit and the first time while it renders it out you see it's sort of like rendering that little gray area there it's showing you the rendering so but on the second outing you'll see it'll be nice and smooth so once it's done that and gone to the end it'll stop and then next time we play it, it'll be nice and smooth. You get the idea. So if we want to animate her to do something else, we can add some adjustment here. So we go to this one, add. And then the first one will be her framing. So we could just have her turning this way maybe. And 
zooming in just a little bit that way click enter and then it'll go to the foreground and we can have the foreground moving backward maybe or in this case we'll have a zoom in just so that tree area will give it a better 3d effect now if you look over there it's going to move if that's going to look silly because it's going to show the background static we need to keep this area moving so we'll keep just bring it that way just a little bit bring them down bring them trees over this way so the, tr the trees or the branches should I say against now if you see there where I've missed a bit you can see a bit of an outline of us so we don't really want to that won't really tell so we'll move it this way just so it's hiding behind her click enter and then it will render that out again with the branches there against her it will look it's gonna look out look rather good this one I think you know for a quick demonstration you're gonna get the idea and for the price I mean you can do this in if you know what you're doing in Lightroom not Lightroom sorry in Photoshop without this plugin but the plugin makes it so much easier okay so there we go voila again we could have had um, other parts you know the branches moving or the flowers moving down the veil moving I'm not going to do any of that today I'm just giving you a quick rundown of how this program works it might be of use to you it might not if it is give me a like give me a subscription subscribe and I'll see you in the next video like I said I'm gonna be doing videos on a daily basis wherever possible maybe two a day and uh, yeah we'll see you in the next one I'll leave the animation oh sorry I didn't tell you you can now once it's done we can uh, render excuse me we can now render this out to a video file so we'll export it sorry we'll turn it in export where we go where do we go where do we go where do we go render video there we go need my glasses on so we'll do a quick render and then i'll show you at the end of this video when it's on youtube